hello bird beds um, today I am doing a video for one of our most um, requested questions and answers is what do we feed our birds so um, I'm giving you the the very fast rundown here so uh, and exactly how that I prepare it so you can see here I have um, bird seed that is um, available that is actually uh, my parrot bird seed I do not put that in the mix um, but I do feed them bird seed but it, it's very important that all bird owners know um, that that's not the only thing you feed them so the first thing you saw me do was grind up some whole wheat crackers they have no salt or sugar or anything they are just simply whole wheat crackers I also use other types of wheat products too um, I vary it up with like whole wheat pasta um, even just your grains and then also some dal. but um, here I'm adding in some um, some hard-boiled eggs with the shells and I even had used additional shells that I had from um, my breakfast this morning so I'm mixing that up together um, there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm mixing together it's just that I do my dry goods first and then the egg um, so I can go ahead and get that out and um, I have just recently bought this new um, chopper so it's working really great I'm very excited because it holds 10 cups versus the two cups I had so it's really good and um, very much appreciate that so um, I just empty it as I go so that the other items chop up very good so here I'm going to go ahead and add in the carrots. Um, you can put it in the top of your um, chopper if you want, but um, it's just easier to throw it all in there. So then I'm just going to blend it up real quick. It, I only have this like double speeded for you, so um, it's not that much faster. Um, this is cauliflower. Um, they really enjoy the cau cauliflower, and um, I will also do some other things. Um, I like to use a lot of high beta carotene items so um, carrots is one of them and I also do a lot of red cabbage um, or purple cabbage. Um, anything that is high in beta carotene it helps with your birds colors. Um, also it's just really healthy for their eyesight and everything just like with people. So as you can see I have did my carrots and my cauliflower and I'm going to put that in here for you and um, um, then at the end I kind of mix everything up together but right now I just kind of layer it in um, and I try to make up a batch that will last me a few days at a time but anything beyond a few days gets um, less than fresh and I worry about like bacteria and things so the other thing I am cutting up here is um, and putting aside is Brussels sprouts and you see that bowl there that's actually my rosy bowl I don't need to blend everything up to such a fine um, a, you know consistency for Rosie because she has a bigger beak so I just cut things up to where she can hold them in her her claw and then um, she is good to go so um, I do her food at the same time so that I can just um, pull it out add what I need to give it to her and then also give it to them so I'm also doing some apples I do not always do apples but they love it so um, also, the Brussels sprouts are a mega hit. They really, really like the Brussels sprouts. Um, I don't have it in this particular video, but a lot of times I'll do parsley. Um, they really enjoy the parsley and also cilantro. They like a lot of different herbs, um, actually. So it's something that you can add in. You can switch depending on what's seasonal and available to you. There's not like a, a lot of rhyme or reason. It's just a matter of that it's fresh, that it's clean and um, you know they will definitely go after it for you so next I am doing the uh, purple cabbage and um, the, the broccoli um, broccoli is amazing um, also if you have smaller birds you can do just broccoli and give some broccoli sprouts um, they really enjoy it um, but for sure you want to make sure that um, you're, you're cutting it small enough for them and um, if you don't have but say one or two birds you could do small bowls kind of like what I'm doing here for Rosie or even about half that and just have it ready for them and you can just pull it out and do prepare enough um, for a few days at a time and give it to them every single day and that way you're not having to go through this process and obviously if you want to do one or two birds 
worth. Um, you can probably just do it by hand if you like, but because I do have so many birds, I have um, roughly around 60 or so at the moment. So um, to make that amount of food for a few days at a time, I definitely need the food processor. So you'll see here that I am getting everything kind of mixed up and I'm gonna pour in that last little bit. Um, you do not always have to add eggs for every single day. I actually don't add the eggs every single day. I do it every few days, but right now I am doing more eggs with the crushed shell because um, I have a lot of mamas. So um, they really need that additional calcium. And then also they're feeding the babies. So I have to make a lot of extra so that everybody has adequate nutrition. Um, and then I just take and I mix it up, you know, so that everything is blended. I want to make sure that they um, get a, a little bit of everything because just like people, birds have things that are their favorite um, and there are things that are not their favorite, but they need to eat. So like they will always always go for the eggs they love the eggs they don't always go for the carrots but they need the carrots so um, I kind of mix it all up in there really good um, this is also a great time to add additional um, vitamins as well as um, any other types of things that you might need to, to put in there because you can kind of mask it in with the flavor of the food so um, um, I do their vitamins many times as well as um, like uh, vitamin E drops um, to make sure that they are plenty healthy. And then here I'm just adding a little bit of Rosie, some chop in there because although um, I do let her use her her beak and her claws, she is, um, I, I still like for her to make sure she gets some of the other things and it's also my way of sneaking it into her because she would love to only eat seed and almonds if I let her. So here I'm just mixing it up even more. Um, and there you go. You see that that's it. that's it. So now I'm going to take you up and let you see everybody and how everybody just went on to it. So they love it. Make sure you subscribe and comment and like and share this video. And we appreciate you. Have a great day.